Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to tonight's prophetic evening with me, Evangelist Charles Kruger, and we are going to get into communion. We've got some, I've got some hot Milo here, yeah? Milo or hot chocolate, whatever you fancy. We're going to get comfortable in the presence of the Lord as the Lord is speaking to us. We're going to hear what the Lord is going to say, but first we're going to just get in the river of the Spirit and pray in tongues. I'm trusting God for interpretation of tongues tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Anita Braga Ziki Talabango do Robosha. Bless you. Praise the year. Amen. Sanga Dego. Zebra Dango Zeke Telebendo Loshto Kobro Goska Daba Daba Ramango. Hallelujah. Tonight it's a good night for hot chocolate. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. It's I don't know what happened, but it's cold. They're actually predicting snow in South Africa in Clarksdorp, in where I'm staying. <laughs> it's unheard of for tomorrow. So we'll see. I hope so. It's interesting. <laughs> but it's cold. Got some Benny in on the background there. I love these Benny in crusades. They're such an anointing on those especially the ones from 1990s up to 2000 that that decade there there was just something about those services those mass crusades casey bless you carolyn all bless you carolyn nortman bless you sharon bless you natalie bless you lisha bless you hallelujah so let's pray in tongues for five minutes mosaka tabarabagende and stir up the gift of prophecy tonight in Jesus' name. If you need a prophetic word, Lord, just trust the Lord tonight for a prophetic word. I can't um, give anybody, everybody, especially, well, as the Lord leads me. Sometimes He does that, and, and I can prophesy to everybody, but tonight, you know, when I give a prophetic word, operating in the gift of prophecy, uh, then we will, you know, I'll give a prophetic word, but Take that if that's relevant to you. If your spirit is jumping, if your heart is on fire and it's fanning the flames of your first love in your heart, take that word for you, then it's for you. Hallelujah. So it's a corporate anointing tonight. A lot of prayer requests we did last night was absolutely wonderful. And tonight in this cold, God is going to do some things. He's going to give direction. He's going to give purpose. So let's pray in tongues. I would invite you to just get the communion elements ready, the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus. We're going to take communion together again. Get yourself comfortable in the presence of the Lord. Snuggle, get cozy, get, a, get yourself a blanket, some hot chocolate. You're going to get in the presence of the Lord. The comforter is here. Sebro go jakata, the balm of Gilead, the ointment poured forth. And the word of the Lord would say unto you that it is in my presence that you will find sustenance. Many of you have been asking me, where to now, Lord? Where do I go from here? What should I do? What is in my hand? I can't even see. But God says that I will cause your eyes to see and know that all that you need is in your hands because I am faithful and I will not be tempted with evil. I cannot be tempted with evil, says the Lord. I have made a way of escape and I have given into your hands exactly what you need for the next step. Even if you walk by faith, step by step, step by step, says the Lord, that I will come and I will step by step take you and lead you into your destiny. Step by step. Enjoy every step of the way, says the Lord. And it is in His presence. That's, that's where you enjoy every step. Of the journey, hallelujah. So let's pray in tongues. Zebra Baba Dogolurobosekete. Get yourself somewhere where you can pray in tongues and you can join in and you can jump in the river, and that's where the things are gonna start happening. Hallelujah. Zelebendo Ja Sheko Soko Toko Bokote. Samando Bobrobo Zebra Baba Basekete Bokoto. So Rabashi Kamakoti Babra Bobo Jacata Bango. I love this Benny him. Let's just pray. Mongo Saka Dabado Robote. And the least bless you, Lisha bless you, Rabaga Zeki Pakatono Mo. Ezede Belebrebe Zetro Bostro Nostokombo Shekatabaga. 
vibre no zote le bar de le jatra kase ke te bagodo robota kande. Vila brobo jaka te bababa do bo robo go bo go ze ke pakando. Ze mondo nombo zondo mondo nombo hondo longo ndenga nongo rika tika la baga brega dugo. Revra da la brada jeda rada gazaka ti ke tere de vese. Just this whole day I was in tongues the whole day. Even I couldn't sleep last night. I was just in tongues the whole night. Just lying in my bed praying in tongues, 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 tongues. And when there's tongues like that, then miracles are about to take place. I've learned. Zeda gazaka tolo bo shekita braba godo. That's good, Milo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So do boro bo shaka da bare bekete le beto boro do boso go brogonta manan kante le bekete. Robo da gale vede ba runel bachren. I see the Lord saying to you that he, I see you sitting on a chair, but the chair has been taken out from from the table, and you're sitting a, a ways back from where the table is being prepared for you. And you're sitting on this chair and it's wonderful, but the chair has to be repositioned closer to the table. You are resting in the Lord. That's good. But come a little closer to the table. In other words, God is calling you into fellowship with the word. God is calling you into fellowship and praying in tongues and worshiping. And the table that is set before you, the operations of the spirit. God is saying that there are operations. This is for Renel Bachen. There are operations in the spirit that is available for you to tap into and then you can come on purpose and intentionally and start partaking of this feast that was set before you in the presence of your enemies. Just come a little closer, says the Lord. Come a little closer. I've spoken to you and I'm inviting you to come closer. I have set you a little bit further away because there was the preparation of the table. But now the table has been set and God says now it's time for you to move in. It's time to, for you to move into the presence of the Lord. Zebra bagado kolo shekete. Alicia li nel zebrena sito kumbo sakata. I see the Lord is combing your hair. I see the Lord is just bringing order and and the wildness is the wildness is still there. But he's channeling it and redirecting the wildness and the fire and the passion. And he is going to channel it and direct it and delegate all the fire and the passion and the zeal that is consuming within your heart. You, it's consuming your life. God is now focusing it on one thing at a time, says the Lord. It's not everything at the same time. Not this time. This time I want you to focus on one thing at a time. And get it to a place of functionality and then focus on the next thing. And then focus on and get everything into a place of functionality so that the system can work together. And then everything at the same time. But first get the major things one at a time in and then everything at the same time. But it will flow then and you'll not feel burnt out and confused as if you don't know what to do, what to start with, where do I begin God says, focus on one thing. Doesn't really matter. You know there's a few things in your life that you need to focus on. Doesn't matter which one you start off first, but ask the Lord and start. And hold on and continue to put all your effort and your focus and your attention onto that one thing. Other things are busy distracting you. It's too many things that's distracting you because too many things need to get done. God says that focus on the one thing. Focus on one thing at a time and get it all done. And then everything, when everything is in a certain position, functional, then everything will flow together. And it will be a lot easier in your life. Samba Zoku. Zoe, Shetaba, Shabalala. Evening saints. Hallelujah. Bless you, Zoe. The Lord is saying to you that he is breathing breath of life into your life. He's giving you no, new hope. He's giving you new comfort. He's bringing His presence in a manifested, tangible way. And this breath is like a wind. It's the wind of change. But God is breathing upon your life. Breathe in. Receive the breath. Stop 
worrying about there's a lot of times that you felt like you didn't have breath it felt like you were being suffocated like the, the spirit of python divination was wrapped around you and suffocating you like you couldn't breathe like you couldn't lift up your head like you couldn't run it's like an asthma thing that like even like this coronavirus that's attacking people's respiratory systems it's a manifestation of this restlessness that is getting wreaking havoc in this generation people are restless they're busy with a lot of ten thousand different things and it's shallow waters it's shallow they're busy with jack of all trades master of none but god says receive the breath breathe again breathe in deeply and receive his breath so that you can breathe hallelujah zebra badogo jakata makan what is that jesus Willer, i don't understand what is makan Alicia, bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Zegabago do gorobo to kodobo shakata makote. Alicia, the Lord is just giving, is bringing speed and he's bringing increase and acceleration into your life. Um, you've heard it before, but this is what the Lord is saying. There are things in the spirit that he will cause you to be accelerated in the spirit before it will manifest on the natural, in the natural and he is drawing you and calling you and beckoning you and inviting you into the acceleration of the spirit because it will first come in the spirit, the acceleration of revelation, the acceleration into his presence, into the holy of holies will come first and then it will manifest in the natural because as it is in the heaven, so it shall be in the earth. As it is in his, he speaks those things as though they are, which are not, as though they are. So he speaks and it is done. It is settled forever, O Lord, in the heavens. It is settled and the manifestation of the word of God wants to come into your life. It wants to manifest in your life. It desires to manifest in your life. But God is saying, build up momentum in the spirit. Because when the things start manifesting, you want to get, when, when God looses the timings, when he looses the seasons and he unlocks the season for things to start moving upon the face of the earth, you want to hit the ground running. You want to have spiritual momentum. You don't want to lose another three or four or five months or a year by trying to get spiritual momentum when things start gaining momentum and the tempos are being raised and increased and, and there's a, a faster tempo on the earth. When that starts happening on the earth, you should already have spiritual momentum. Start praying in tongues. Start worshipping the Lord. You know how to sow to the Spirit. Sow with the Word. Sow in times of fellowship with the Lord. Leave the fabricated, the formulas, the pretentious things, the religious rituals behind. Get in and let your hair hang down and kick off your shoes and get comfortable in the presence of the Lord and get one-on-one -on -one with Jesus just as you are Come just as you are with your faults, with your failures, with your baggage, with your issues. Come into the presence of the Lord. And then in a few months time, you will look back and say, I can't hardly even recognize myself because of the momentum that I've gained in the spirit. And there will be a spiritual maturity in you. Alicia Lee now, this is for you, that there will be a spiritual maturity in your life that people will ask you how did you get there and you will say that it is the lord's doing it's not my doing it was by the hand of god all that you did was show up this is a word of the lord for you and you will find that as you gain spiritual momentum you'll be able to handle the acceleration that's coming upon the face of the earth because there will be an increase and acceleration and there is the sound of the abundance of rain there is the sound of abundance and you are about to run out in front of horses and chariots because of the Lord that is moving upon you, the endowment of power from on high and the ability of the Holy Spirit that is imputing unto you and imparting unto you and transferring into you. And you're going to run and have an acceleration and you're going to run out. But you've got to have the spiritual momentum. Otherwise, you're going to feel like you're going to burn up. You're going to just quit. You're not going to. You, it's going to be tough. And this goes for everybody listening right now. Gain spiritual momentum. Because things are about to be loosed upon the earth. Satan's got one plan. But God's got an eternal plan. And Satan is none the wiser. He has no idea what God is busy doing. I'm telling you, you're going to be busy. There's going to be one thing on top of another thing. Take this time. 
Take this time, take this year. He said, this is the year, the calm before the storm. And I believe there's a glory storm that's coming upon the face of the earth. A glory storm <laughs> for those who are in the light and who are of the day. But that same storm will mean trouble for kingdoms in this world. They will topple. They will crumble. They think they're going to get stuff right. They're not. It's, their plans will be exposed. Their plans will fail. They will all fail. They will come to nothing. They're about to lose everything. All their trillions of dollars is being transferred. They're going to lose it. They're busy digging a hole for themselves. Right now as we speak. Liesel, hallelujah. Bless you guys. Bless you. Bless you. Robo zaga bagado robo seketebe. Teresa Smith, Pistongo, Zakate Badaboru, Zebra Dangala, Giste Ridi Visoto, Raga Zakitili Benga Dango, Shaka Tabaga Daba Roboko Tebaka. The Lord is also just speaking to you, just like He spoke to, to uh, uh, the previous one. But He's speaking to you on the same lines, and He's saying that there's spiritual momentum in you, but at this stage it's a hot desire. God says that you've walked around with a heart's desire that is so beautiful, that is so strong and so pure and so holy before Him. And it's now time to indulge, you know. It's time to now partake. It's time to participate of the table of the Lord that is set before you in the presence of your enemies. But the table is also in the presence of the Lord. And you're surrounded by enemies because God has allowed a crowd to form around you because of the way he's going to bless you he's allowed your enemies to surround you because he wants to show them how he's going to bless you he wants them to see he wants there to be a crowd to see in front of all of them how he blesses you and this table is in the presence of the lord and getting to the presence of the lord it's time now to partake You've had the desire, you've had the desire, you've been walking around with a desire for more of God for a very long time. This is Teresa. And God says it's time to eat. Ingrid Bowers, that word is for you too. Zante la bagadigo joko tabakaba. Ingrid, the Lord is feeding you apples, the Lord is feeding, feeding you fruit, the Lord is just filling you with and satisfying you. Every desire, everything that that the Lord has been working in you and speaking to you about, God is about to satisfy those dreams with sustenance because the dreams need to be fed. You've allowed your dreams to die down and become weaker and weaker and weaker, Ingrid. But God says it's time to feed your dreams again and believe again and hope again. Hope against all odds and against hope. Hope in revival, God says that the revival is coming and you will feel passion again and your dreams is going to live again. Your dreams are not going to die. It's like when you think of the dreams and the desires and the callings that God and the prophecies that God has spoken over your life, you almost get tired just thinking about it because you think, I don't have the strength to do it. I don't just, I just don't know if it's ever going to happen. I just don't know. I, I don't know. God says, feed them, feed them, feed them. Start meditating on your dreams. The dreams, I'm talking about your desires in your heart, Ingrid Bowers. Start feeding the desires, start fanning the flames, start awakening the love. Start, it's time, it's time, the time pleases, the time pleases. Don't let the opportunity come and you are not in a state to take advantage of the opportunity that the Lord is going to bring across your path. When that opportunity comes, you've got to be on fire. You've got to be ready and you've got to be passionate. You've got to jump in and you've got to jump in all the way. All in. You've got to be all in. You've got to just go all out. And you can't do that if you, if you haven't fed your dreams. If your dreams aren't alive, your dreams need to, be, need to be sustained. And I see these fruit. I see these beautiful ripened fruit. The Lord is feeding them. And if you will meditate upon desires if you will meditate upon the pleasures that is at the right hand of the lord in his presence there's fullness of joy joy unspeakable and full of glory and at his right hand pleasures forevermore if you will feast upon these fruits of pleasure that that even i want to call it holy imagination 
where you can see yourself taking possession of your dreams and seeing your dreams fulfilled. God is about to manifest it and he's going to give you the passion because a dream will never be fulfilled if the passion is gone. If you've walked away from your dreams, you die inside. You become cold and callous and hard and dead inside and you cannot take advantage of the opportunities even if God sends you all the opportunities in the world, you will not take advantage, you will not take it, you will not take ownership, you will not hold it, you will not take the reins, you will not, because there's just no life left. A dream that is dying, you got to feed that dream, you got to think of it, you got you to gotta meditate on it, this is for everybody, this is for word for everybody, don't let your dreams die, you'll walk around like a zombie, you'll, con you, you'll just walk around and you'll lose the taste for life. Because your dream is gone. If your dream is gone, you can't have somebody else's dream. That's not going to satisfy you. That's not going to make you live. God has given you a dream. It's your calling. It's your destiny. It's the desire of your heart. It's God that works in us both to do and to will according to His good pleasure. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Teresa. Bless you. PJ, Zegastikan, de Gastadero, Gusta Bagadero. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I see people working for you. I see many people working for you. Braga, Zaka, Talabado, Robo, Sheke, Tebaka. I see you delegating and I see how you, it's going to be so easy. You've been putting it off because you think you don't, it's just too difficult and it's, you, it's just going to be too much. God says it will not take any more effort for you to delegate how many people ever he's going to put under you then it's going to then it's taking for you to go on the way you're doing it now it's not going to take any more effort in fact it's going to take less effort he's going to free up your time pj and you're going to get more done and you're going to provide an opportunity opportunities for many people and you're going to help you're going to be a, a, a key in the hand of God to, to sustain families through giving and providing jobs for people. Hallelujah. It's going to, it's going to increase. God's going to make you, uh, he's going to bring things in line for you. Hallelujah. Peter Mil, Nell, Peter Nell, Zedesto, Kumba, Jakata, Bakote. I see also just like a horse that's running in the wind. And as this horse is running, its manes is just flying in the wind and soaring in the wind. And I see that the Lord is just bringing that. Um, of course, when you cut off the manes, I don't know what you call it. It's the main, the, the hair of the horse, there on the neck, the main hair. <laughs> when you cut it off, there's, there's just something that of a glory that is lost and you've been running but the manes the hair has been god says he's letting the hair grow and he wants to see it flying in the wind it's something he's restoring glory again and you're gonna run but you're gonna run with glory and you're gonna minister and you're gonna do what the lord has called you to do but you're gonna do it with excellence you're gonna do it with what's the word with flair. You're going to do it with style. Hallelujah. You're not just going to answer the call of God in your life. You're not just going to. You're going to do it with style. Saga bagadero bokudoshe. God says that what you've been busy doing. Continue to do it. But now he's going to make it like you're going to do it with style. And you're going to do that because he wants you to be an example. For many to follow. And you're going to inspire people. You're going to inspire people and you're already inspiring people with your walk. Keep it up. Mariki, bless you. Sagaba, go seke tagaba. This is a word for you, Mariki. Sheka da gada da raba do ma. Ela bande ridi viso brade zati taratista reketo. Shanda la dengo dos kadaba. I see these storm clouds and I see the lightnings that's striking. And you said in your heart, well, what's the chance of that lightning striking me? and striking twice because it's already struck you but now you're asking god that it should strike you again and this is the lightning strike of his glory and his destiny in your life and you felt like you have made a mistake and you have missed your destiny 
and that that opportunity will never come again and that person that kind of relationship will never come into your life again but god says lightning will strike twice and god says he will give it to you again do not be dismayed do not fear do not do not do not do not let him be god and trust him to do what he needs to do in your life because he is bringing about radical change in your life because you have asked him lord change things and now he's about to do it because you couldn't do it and you didn't have the guts to do it but now god will do it and he will change your situation he will change your life and things are going to fall in line and it's, it's looks scary at the moment but trust him I promise you that the Lord has not forgotten you and He's not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. The word is yes and amen. He cannot lie. He's got you. Okay, trust Him to bring about radical change. And you are going to, because He's doing this, you're going to be feeling more stable and more secure in the future. You're going to feel like He's giving you a place where you will never be moved from again. Not feel like it, you're going to have it. You're going to have a place where you're not going to be moved from again. A place in Him, a place in your ministerial capacity, and a place in in um, just your emotions. A place where you feel at home and stable and secure. Stability is coming. But now, change. Allow Him to do that. But continue to go into the presence of the Lord because the stability is still there. It's still available. It's just not in the natural anymore. Where it used to be in the natural, God is now shifting things. Anita Yuber, Vre Bagado Golo Robo Sakata Banga, Zede Dede Rete Tere Devede Bere Devedo Robo Tarabata. I see dry bones. I see a valley of dry bones. Can these bones live? Lord, you know. Son of man, prophesy and say to these bones, live and say to the winds in the four corners of the earth, enter these bones O breath of God so that they will live <clears throat> son of man prophesy God is saying you prof you make up your mind if you want to bring these bones to life it's in your mouth my goodness there you said it Ezekiel 37 dry bones come to life I didn't read the comment I promise you I just saw your name and I said it, and there it is. Ezekiel 37, dry bones come to life. Anita, I didn't read the comment. <laughs> oh my Lord, thank you Jesus. No, look, I promise you, I saw the bones and everything, and now I'm seeing what you said here. Yeah, you said Ezekiel 37, dry bones, well, that's confirmation. Anita, I promise you, I didn't, I didn't read your comment. I just saw your name and I saw this and the Lord prophesied and there, there it was. You can believe me or you can't. You don't have to. I don't know. But this is so awesome. What? This is so beautiful, Jesus. Ilana Prinsloer. Kon nou eers inskakel. Ilana Rebagazokoto. Jy is net betijds vir a profetiese woord. Anita, that's absolute confirmation. I promise you. That was, <laughs> that was the Lord. Ilana, hallelujah. Ze bregas te kodo boso koto. God is wrapping you in his wings. He's wrapping you in the wings of love. I I've seen this as a canary. I've seen a gil canary. I see I see it just flying and singing. And I see this little bird and it's wrapping itself in these wings. And it's a form of protection. And it protects even a little canary, even a little bird. Even a little bird. God says, even a little bird, he will protect and he will give you the wings of protection. He will give you an extra layer of defense that you will not fear anymore. You will be unconscious, not indifferent or naive, but not even aware of the dangers that is all around 
because that causes intimidation and fear and manipulation and control over you. But people will not control you or manipulate or intimidate you. You will not be timid. You will enjoy the presence of Jesus in, and bask in the sunshine and joy and dancing and freedom and a good time. I see you having a feast, a party in the presence of the Lord. Just celebration of life. And friendliness, there's just friendliness and just this beautiful, wonderful, this yellow canary, I see this. And you're going to just be in your element as the Lord is going to restore you to be the person, the little bird that he made you to be. Okay, the, he sees you as a little bird, but it's a beautiful little bird. <laughs> okay, it's a beautiful thing. And he protects you and you're not, you're going to be the... A little bird with the biggest heart and the most courage than any other little bird. <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna have this beautiful heart of courage when the Lord is finished with this process. Because it's it's in this, the process is in the works right now. It's happening. It's happening. And you'll come through this as pure gold. And you'll come through this, and you'll feel in touch and you'll feel in your element and you will feel like you are in your own shoes and and you found your place and you found the place that you belong and you'll function in your element because you you didn't fit in and you didn't know where you would function and some places you did function and it, then it was taken and ah there's a place that god has for you and when you are plugged in there now you're thinking why can't I function? Why can't I go? And why can't I be in a flow anymore? Like I want to function. I've got so much potential. There's so much inside of me that I want to give. Ilana, God says that when you are plugged in in the place where you belong, then those things will start functioning. It'll be functional and nobody will be able to stop it. And it will flow out of you. It'll not be effort. It's not going to drain you. It's not going to wear you out. But don't stop working for now. Don't stop working on all that gifting and all that. Sharpen the axe. Sharpen iron. Sharpen. Get precision. Get specialized. Get professional. Get excellent in the things that God has anointed you for. Because he's going to plug you into the place of belonging. And when you are plugged into that place, you're going to be a root. You're going to have root. You're going to have roots. And you're going to drink from the sap of the vine. You're going to... You're going to function, you're going to blossom, you're going to bloom, you're going to bear fruit. Hallelujah. Letitia Kotze. Raga Bagadagalama Shekete. Letitia Kotze. Hallelujah. The Lord is with you. The Lord is for you. Nobody can be against you when God is on your side. Where you walk with God, He will prepare favor for you in the hearts of the people because they'll know that you have been with Jesus. Mensen gaan sê, jy is Jesus a wit breekie. They're going to say like, they're going to be jealous. They're going to say, yeah, you God's favorite. What is it about you that makes you God's favorite? Get ready. People's going to get jealous over the anointing of favor upon your life, Letitia. I command the favor of God. I speak and release and loose in a prayer of faith and agreement as everybody watching right now says yes and amen over Letitia's life. Favor of God upon you. Favor of the Most High God. Let the favor of God, you will be the favorite. You will be called the favorite. Hallelujah. God's not a respecter of persons and in actual fact, He doesn't have any favorites. But it's going to look like that to the world. They're going to say, yeah, but you God's favorite. You God's favorite. You God's favorite. They continue, and they did say that, but now they're going to start saying it again. And now they're going to not just say it. It'll, it'll almost look, it will almost be like it is the fact. It's the truth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's cool. And it's going to be yours as well. Thank you, Jesus. We release that favor on the head as well. And I just see that the Lord is moving mountains and the mountains is like butter. He's making the mountains like butter. And it's going to melt. It's going to melt. 
and you've got a you've got some tools at your disposal and now the the rock was hard but he's turning the rock to butter i can see these mountains of butter i see that it's an anointing i see that it is healing i see that it is binding up the broken heart the balm of gilead the oil of joy butter 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 is bringing a richness the comfort and luxury into your life the mountains that's been stand excuse me standing in your way is turning into butter now that's a spiritual butter okay i don't know if you like butter or not but god is saying it's a spiritual thing and i can almost see you just tunneling right through the middle of this mountain like it's the easiest thing like just the heat is just making a way there will be momentum in your life. Nothing's going to stay dormant and stagnant anymore. I rebuke the spirit of stagnation in your life. It's not going to lie stagnant and dormant anymore. It's going to start flowing. There I open up a place where the river will start flowing. A place of release. God says start releasing some things. Break off the dam wall. And it's going to flow. There will be no more stagnation. I see you, you moving. And even if you come to a halt and you rest, they will still be, you'll still be moving because the butter underneath your feet will melt. And there will be movement. There will be momentum in your life. I can see you like just... <laughs> I can almost see something interesting. It's like you are in space, right? On the moon or on the way to the moon and you're in space. And you jump in a certain direction and the momentum of that jump will just carry you until you hit an asteroid or a planet or a star or something. You'll never stop. That momentum, Just it's just very difficult to stop that momentum. You'll just continue traveling. I see you running for this mountain and just the effort that you put in in the beginning, just gaining the momentum, I see this momentum just not stopping. I see you passing through that mountain of butter. And you got to hear by the Spirit of the Lord. I'm deep in the Spirit now. Going through. And there is a way that didn't seem like there's going to be a way. And the momentum, your spiritual momentum, is going to carry you right through. Even in the physical, it's going to carry you through. And, it's, and, you, and it, you're not, you, you just, you're just traveling through that. And you can stop the effort, but the momentum is just going to continue and you'll go right through and there will be a hole right through that mountain. And you'll make a way, you'll pave a way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Isabel Mukwege. Isabel Mulman, Isabel Mulman, you are just in time for your prophetic word. Said Rebesa, Isabel, the Lord is, he's got jewels for you. Jewelry. Beautiful jewelry, but not common jewelry. It's very precious and unique and it's one of a kind. Every piece of jewelry that he's giving you is unique and it's one of a kind. And it's to beautify you. It's to make all things beautiful in your life because the time has come for you to be beautified. And the Lord is bringing beauty and he's bringing beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for heaviness and mourning and the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. It's coming upon you in the name of the Lord. Sorry, I don't know how long this camera was. How long was the camera? I didn't even see that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm prophesying and the camera is showing on the bed. Zagadogolob Rogoshi. Sendebera. Oh, goodness. All right. Peter Els. Sogo Sakata. The Lord is just blessing you, Peter. Banga Dega Robose. Peter Els, the Lord is opening doors for you. And there's always, I see you almost standing in a maze. And the Lord is going to lead you. He's going to give you a map. He's going to show you exactly how to navigate yourself out of this thing. Because it's a lot of locked doors. It's a lot of open doors. And there's a lot of corners. And there's a lot of 
but he will navigate and things are very complicated. The situation that you are in is a complicated situation, but the Lord says that he will start navigating and he is your navigator today. And he says that he, if you listen to his voice, he will guide you and he will say, turn to the left, turn to the right, go straight, stop, reverse. Listen to the navigator. And he's going to, because he hasn't been navigating as he wants to. But he will start navigating and you will know his voice because he's going to communicate with you in a way that you can understand. Hallelujah. Tish duplessi. Sita kabador roboza gada bane mehende. Lubara banga danga deskadari disto robo shaka telaba. Bags of money. Bags of coins of gold and silver. Bags and bags and bags of it. I see real money bags. I don't know if that's even a thing anymore, but God is bringing money bags, bags of coins, and it's gold and silver coins. God says, I want you to start counting these coins. Count it, count it, count it, and write it down. Start counting the cost. Of the things that is burning in your heart. And write it down and make it plain. And put it on paper. Says the Lord. And I will start giving you the finances. And you'll know what to do with it. As it comes in says the Lord. But up until now you've been asking amiss. You've been asking amiss. But God says start counting the cost. And writing it down. And get quotes. And call people and find out how much that will cost. And how they will give you that service. And what will they provide. And how will this work. And start counting the cost. And forming the blueprints. And the business plan. That the Lord has for you. I'm calling it a business plan. But it's a plan. It's a whatever, Whether it's a business or a ministry. Or whatever it is. Or it's just your dreams. Or your destiny. Your callings. Whatever it is, just start planning and writing and counting the costs. Hallelujah, what a word. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Rian Chroblar. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Amen. <laughs> the heat of the presence of the Lord. Se brandune meshika tagedelo. Lis der danu sita daru guskada de de reveti bikaba. The presence of the Lord is on you, Rian Chroblar. Your life will never ever be the same again. God has got a plan for your life and He's going to pluck you from the deep miry clay. God says to you that I've got a plan for your life. You'll be a minister. He's going to make you a minister because of the way that he's blessing you and because he is winning your heart with his love and his awakening love in your heart. That love that will burn like a wildfire that will be unstoppable, that will cause the roar of the lion to come and return to your heart because somewhere along the way the roar of the lion has been going missing. But God says, I want you to return to the wild days. I want you to return to being wild for me. I want you to return for the times and walk away from the pain, walk away from the pressure, walk away from the times that you have disappointed yourself and disqualified yourself and look away from the distraction. I still have an A plan for your life and I still know who you are and I am going to use you, says the Lord, and you will be amazed at what the people in your life is going to say about you and whatever the opinions have been is going to change because I've got a plan for you and I have the last say, says the Lord. Rian Chroblar, in the name of Jesus, peace and fresh fire upon you. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Wow. Sure. Jean Kotze Langley. Yes, you are right. The glory of the Lord is upon this broadcast. The glory of the Lord is in every prophetic word. If that word has got <clears throat> any <clears throat> bearing on you and, and it's significant and relevant to you, then receive that word. And this is why the Lord is highlighting certain people. Maybe I can't prophesy for everyone like I would want to, but every prophecy, every prophecy, it's for you. You can take every single prophecy it's on this broadcast. That's what it's all about in the prophetic. Hallelujah. 
Jean, be blessed in Jesus' name. I see the glory of the Lord coming upon your life. Hallelujah. Things have died in your life, Jean. Kotze Langley. Because of the time that's passed and because it's been a long time. And I see this tree and the tree died. And the leaves fell off and the bark started cracking. And I see that it dried up and the, the tree is absolutely dry. God says, I've been preparing firewood. Okay, certain things have died. But there are other trees. You are not just one tree. You are a whole orchid. But I see this tree, this certain area in your life that has died. That has dried up. That, that the Lord has allowed. Because he wants you to have firewood. You can't just have fruit of all the trees. You'll need firewood as well. For heat. Because the cold is coming. But you'll see that that experience. And the things that you've gone through. Where things have died in you. Has prepared you. And has supplied you with enough firewood and fuel. To go through the winter. Or the cold. Or the barrenness. To go through night seasons where others will fail and lose their way and they will get lost when the night comes. And they will freeze when the night comes and the cold comes. Because they've not allowed things to die and they did not give consent. But you have, somewhere in your heart you have given consent for the Lord to do that. And now it's time to reap the, the rewards. Now it's time to reap the rewards, Jean. You'll see. You'll see. You'll be supplied with heat. Hallelujah. Natalie Adam, Adams Raman Sando Gozekete. Natalie Ed, Adams. Hallelujah. The Lord is smiling over you. Yo, the Lord loves you so much, Natalie. I tell you, he's got such a excitement in his heart i can feel it in my bones he's smiling and he's he's so excited he's just you know to see what's going to happen in your life to see the things that he's going to take you deeper he loves you so very much natalie bless you the lord jesus is for you you don't have anything to fear about there are people that have things to fear and they are ignorant. They don't even know. But let me tell you something from the word of the mouth of the Lord. Natalie Adams Raman, you have nothing to fear because God sees you. And his gaze is locked upon you. His gaze is locked. His eyes are riveted. His mind is set on you. And he will never leave you. He will never forsake you or abandon you he's yours and you are his hallelujah bless you natalie nalani van skalkwijk bless you wie is annie krugel hallelujah we bless nalani van skalkwijk shagadago dogo robo zeka pakata wie is annie krugel Shedodo robo zakata bago do bolo zoko tamasekete bekete pakata. Bless you, Christel. Hallelujah. Kazeketa barama. Lee Royal, bless you. Lisa Jarvis, bless you. Annalise Lending, bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Daniel Breyers, Teresa Smith. Net Nalani van Skalkwijk. Prophetic word gives us direction. Yes. I want to know who's that person that you greeted. Mickey, bless you. I see that. Nalani van Skalkwijk, the Lord is leading you in a path. And you've been wondering why. The oh, sorry. I don't know what's happening with people are trying to phone me. 
people are trying to phone me, so sorry. I'm I'm still busy giving a word for Nalani. Sorry guys. Nalani van Skalkwijk, waar is jy nou? Nalani van Skalkwijk, I see you are asking the Lord for the green pastures. Rebagado Roboso, and you, and you, you, it's a good desire, because that's where the refreshing and the restoration is, but you are walking right next to the green pastures on a road, because he's accelerating your life, and I see this thing in the spirit, you've got to understand it in the spirit, and, and you are on the road, and it might be uncomfortable, but you're making progress where you wouldn't have made it, but the green pasture is right there. God says to you, Nalani, and your family, any time that you need a rest, any time that you need a break, you can just stop, pull off, and go and lie in the green pastures, because it's right next to you. Any time you need a break, you, you're not on the way to the green pastures. You are walking right next to it. And when you are refreshed, get up and get on the road again. Don't stay there. Get up and go on the road again because there's a little walkway that's going to bring acceleration. It's acceleration. But don't fear. You, you're not far away from the miracle and the sustenance and the sustaining power of God or the provision of God. It's right. You're walking in between the green pastures on a road. You've been looking at your feet. Look up and see, says the Lord. It's all around you. It's all around you. No, I can't. Say. Yes, the Lord says it's all around you. It's all around you. You'll understand it soon. Hallelujah. Teresa Dupont. Yes, the Lord loves you. Christel Groblar. Hallelujah. Groen Weifelde. Hallelujah. Annie Kriegel. Yes, is jy. I am just the daughter of our king. Hallelujah. Annie Kriegel. Jesus loves you. He's bringing gold into your life. Righteousness. Righteousness. Many injustices in your life. But God is going to set things right for you. He's bringing justice and vengeance. Because vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. And the battle belongeth to me, says the Lord. He's bringing things righteousness. He's setting things right in your life. He's not going to leave it like it is. He's going to bring things into perspective. He's going to bring things into alignment. He's going to bring children. Family members are going to get saved. That's what the Lord is saying. Bless you, Bridget Leroy. Hallelujah. Open doors. Helene Alston. Bless you. Christelle. Mickey, you bear. The Lord loves you as well, very much. You know that. I can only give you a prophetic word that is relevant to every single person watching right now. God is saying, come into my presence. When you are in doubt of where you need to go, come into my presence. And let my presence be enough. Let it be enough for you. Let that be your one thing and your priority and the one thing that satisfies you in life. The presence of the Lord. I'm talking about fellowship. Friendship with the Holy Spirit. Mickey, you bear. When you have Jesus, you have everything. And he will, it, let me tell you something. The presence of the Lord causes things to manifest in your life. It causes the promises that are yes and amen to come into your life like nothing else. Now, now, if the presence is missing, those things cannot manifest in your life the way that God wants to do it. Because it, there's nothing to rest those blessings on. It has to rest upon the spirit. It has to rest upon the glory cloud. It cannot rest on flesh because the flesh will fall like a dead man. 
You got to say, you, you can't say, woe is me, I am on that. You got to stand up and say, here I am, Lord, send me. There's got to be by the Spirit. That, and that fellowship with the Holy Spirit, and the presence of the Lord, is the right environment for the blessings of the Lord. Because when this blessing comes, you'll know how to handle it and you'll know how to cope with it. If you don't have the presence of the Lord, if you don't have the Spirit of the Lord in you, those blessings, which is supposed to be blessings, it can actually be perverted by Satan. And because you don't walk in the fruit of the Spirit and the character of God, those blessings can draw you away from Him. Those things that should be blessings, the money, the wealth, the fame, the fortune, the power, it can all corrupt you if you don't have a fellowship and if you're not abiding in the vine. This, this is very basic stuff. But it's not a formula. It's not a, a, a ritual. Don't let your prayer life become a ritual. In the name of Jesus. This is for everybody. Mickey, that's for everybody. Vanessa, bless you. Renelle, bless you. Tish, bless you, Christelle, Leticia, Bridget. Bridget, the secret place. Yes, you are enough, my king. Shutting the door to all distraction deeper, deeper. Oh, glory, my king. Hallelujah. I love that. Now, that is a prophetic statement. Deeper, deeper. Bridget, bless you. Thank you for that. Sharon, bless you. That's your portion. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sharon, the Lord's heat, His presence is coming closer and closer and closer and things are beginning to melt in your life. And people's hearts that was frozen in your life, the presence of the Lord is starting to melt their hearts. You just keep on burning. Sharon, Bridget, yeah, that's the same word for you as well. That's the same word for both of you guys. Hallelujah. <laughs> people's, people's hearts are beginning to melt. People that you didn't even know, Bridget, that had issues with you and maybe was offended to what I, I see these things. People that hold the key to unlock success and blessing in your life and bring, bring promotion that has had things against you, but you don't even know these people, but they've been watching you. And they had issues. God says that I'm changing their hearts about you. I'm changing their opinions about you. I can change their opinion about you, Bridget. I can change their opinion about you, and I'm doing it. Continue to burn for me and let the heat of the presence of the Lord melt the hills like wax and let their hearts melt and let God open their eyes, Father, in Jesus' name, so that they will have favor and show favor towards Bridget in the name of Jesus and every person watching right now. Hallelujah. Guys, let's take some communion. Praise the Lord. I would advise you to go through if you've just joined us to watch the rerun, re, watch, watch the whole broadcast. Every prophetic word is relevant if you can feel a jump in your spirit. All right. So bless you. Thank you, guys. Uh, Lisa. Sondo moso kota bakate bakate bakoto roboko tama. Ben de be de bere de beto. Things are going to change. I want you to take communion with us. Tonight, Lisa, the Lord wants to feed you from his hand. He wants to put it in your mouth by his hand. All right. God wants to feed you himself. It's not going to be by a man. It's not going to be by a, 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 a priest or, a, or a whatever. It's going to be God himself, Jesus Giving you, personally giving you himself, Lisa. Things are going to change after tonight's communion in your life. That's the word of the Lord. That goes for every person. Let's take this communion. So into loveborn, paypal.me forward slash loveborn. So, and the Lord bless you, so into this anointing.
It's a great opportunity to also sow into soul winning. And it's more than just soul winning. And it's a fire. These broadcasts contain a fire that ignites people's hearts. It changes lives forever. That's the ministry. It's not the words. It's, it's the anointing that's transferred. It's while I'm talking, there's a fire being released and transferred and imparted unto people that's watching. That's what you're sowing into. It's a ministry. It's the kingdom of God. It's an anointing. You're not sowing on fruitless ground. It is the ministry of the kingdom of God. People's lives are being changed. So sow into paypal.me forward slash loveborn or see the banking details of loveborn in PC in the comments afterwards as the spirit leads you in Jesus name. I just felt that fire. The Holy Spirit is talking. Amen. So guys, bless you in Jesus name and let the like, the, the smile of Jesus be upon you. Let the smile of Jesus smile upon you. All right. And it is in Jesus name. Let's eat. If you don't have bread, go after this broadcast. Go get yourself some bread or a peppermint or a chocolate. Take communion. Do it every day. Hallelujah. What a privilege. This is the feast. Wow. Some grape juice. This is the blood of Jesus. And it's coming to you by the hand of Jesus himself. He wouldn't give you a snake or a scorpion. Get some oil. Lord, I anoint every person, every person that needs a miracle, Lord. That needs an intervention, that needs direction, that needs their dreams to live again. I plead and sprinkle apply the blood of Jesus over their lives. Spirit, soul and body, past, present, future. Their sphere of influence, the work of their hands. Lord, their health, their lives, their hearts, their emotions, their soul, spirit, body. Everything, Father. Lord, their family, their properties, possessions, everything, everything, every area of their lives, we plead and apply the blood of Jesus. We ask for protection and healing, covering, deliverance, freedom. And we thank you that we can expect that, Lord, from you because it's your word and it is your benefits of salvation that you've made available through your broken body and your shed blood. Now we ask that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will destroy yokes and set the captives free and invade and influence and flow into every area of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's the anointing oil. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Situations are changing. God is fighting for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're, that's your miracle in Jesus' name. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I think tomorrow night we'll continue with prophetic. We'll have a prophetic evening again tomorrow night. If you haven't had your prophetic word tonight, tomorrow night, 6 p.m., we'll go into that. And I believe the Lord is also going to release more prophetic uh, words for everybody that's relevant to everybody so i was blessed tonight and i know you guys were as well thank you so much bless you and remember paypal.me forward slash loveborn is going to be in the comments if if you want that information so bless you and uh, also go and visit the face the 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 website loveborn.net and tell me what you think because it's still under construction Go and check it out and give me comments and the email is there as well. Hello at loveborn.net. Get in contact with me. I've got a lot of time. Don't send me a long email, please. Just short and concise and precise because there's a lot of emails coming in. I'd love to read all these emails and give me your comment. Give me some feedback. Participate. Get involved in Loveborn. It's yours uh, because it belongs to Jesus. It's not mine. It's ours. Hallelujah. Because it's the Lord. Bless you so much. Thank you for tuning in.
and the Lord bless you. I, I don't want to sign off tonight. <laughs> right? Okay, goodbye. Bless you.